Oh, you know the sound well. The sound of the dentist drill is enough to unnerve just about anyone. But for dental phobics, it can conjure images of sheer terror. Can anything be done for dental phobics? Stay tuned for our special report. Chairs, drills, caps, fillings. There are some people who actually go into a severe panic just at the thought of such things. It's like sentencing me to the worst thing that you could possibly imagine. This woman is absolutely terrified of a visit to the dentist, but she has to go. Is there anything that can help her? Find out next. Are you one of those people who does not like the sight, the smell, the sound of a dentist's office? Well, you aren't alone. It is estimated that three-fourths of us have some kind of dental anxiety. But for some people, that anxiety is unbearable. They're called dental phobics. Sue Bredding tells us they often delay treatment for years. Heidi, it can happen in a person who has had a series of bad dental appointments, perhaps starting in childhood, or perhaps they've heard their parents, overheard their parents relating dental horror stories. Now, it is not unusual to go to the dentist office today and be offered a glass of wine or some headsets before you get in the dental chair. But we're talking about people who need much more. Put your, Put your head back. That's it. That's it. Uh, that's it. That's all you got to do. Her feet and shoulders shake. One hand clutches for support. One holds a Kleenex. Tears stream down her face. Terror fills her heart. <laughs> Patty Jay's a dental phobic. I, I change from a rational woman into almost a, a, a small child. Uh, that's how great the, the trauma is. She delayed treatment four years. Severe pain forced her here. Often patients like her are referred to Dr. Maureen Toll. Doing good. Oh, I've seen 250 um, pound men perspire and faint in my chair. I've seen patients just shake. They just sit and they just shake. And you'll see them talking, and you'll look at their blouse or their shirt and their heart, you'll see their heart pounding. One option, offering IV sedation. That's where you actually place a needle in a vein in the arm, and you give a tranquilizer and a narcotic. What these two medications do is they calm the patient down. Hopefully we'll get you calm enough to where you'll be very relaxed, okay? Soon. Soon, yeah. Soon. The medications also have an amnesia effect to where when she wakes up, she doesn't even remember the injections and she doesn't remember who she talked to or what she said. For those who won't even approach a dental chair, another option, dental care while you're knocked out with anesthesia in a hospital. Good Samaritan Medical Center's outfitted a surgery suite for Dr. Toll. It includes a dental unit comprised of high-speed hand pieces with fiber optics, then a unit that allows for a high-speed volume suction, which is very commonly used or routinely used in the dental office. This allows us to be able to perform any general restorative procedure, root canals, fillings, even x-rays. Simple cleanings are done here, too. This can also help the handicapped who can't sit for long or small children with severe problems. But fear of the sounds and sights of this room can be reversed. In follow-up treatment, Patty needs an IV again, but the shaking and crying's gone. She says she feels improvement, not only because of the IV, but because Dr. Toll spends time explaining procedures, noises, smells, what to expect. And she deals with it um, in such a manner that it, it left me with some dignity. Because it's, it's embarrassing. To, to be so frightened, to be crying, uh, that's embarrassing. Now, of course, the hospital and the IV, those are only um, options that are considered after a lot of um, treatments that are considered after a lot of evaluation of the patient. And it would not be a way of life for that patient for the rest of their life. The goal is to work those patients back into more normal dental visits. All right. Thank you, Sue. Well, we talked about it earlier in the newscast, the ASU.